Got him, coach. Alright. We have made it in to Sovereign Guard. <laughs> Sky are pretty. We can see the world eater himself. Just flying around. There's something about this place. It's very familiar to us, but we can't quite put our finger on it. Could it be the statues? They look very familiar. They seem very familiar. But their faces are kind of, you know, cloaked, shadowy. Just keep going. One cool thing, though, as you walk away, the statues turn to face you. Something I never knew until I, I was reading a Reddit post. All right. <laughs> Such a cool shot. The music, ugh. Oh. Yeah, those statues will turn to face you as you walk away. So, like, if you come back a little bit. See? <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> yeah. Things seem to be... Oh, yeah, another than the world eater flying around. Relatively peaceful. Let's explore a little bit. See what's what. There's any anything to guide us. We've clearly found Alduin's hideout of sorts, where he seems to be drawing the source of his power. Sovereign Guard, A place we've only heard of in legend. Yeah, there's something about Sovngarde, as I said. Seems very familiar. You could easily get lost <laughs> going through. Guess he's, in a way, teasing us to follow him. Somewhere. Where do these stairs go? <laughs> Just keep going. Interesting. Unlike anything we've ever seen. I mean, we know what all of this is because we learned about it, you know, when we were young. The Vigilance definitely taught us about what everything, you know, in Sovngarde is, and it was just to see it. Oh well. Intrigue abound, dear readers. Much an abandoned sanctuary does she sell sanctuary burnt 
corpse. Bones, bone meal, I should say. Let's take a look around. No reason to not. Jarek Sutherland. Kiefer. I'm curious what happened here. Burnt corpses. Mysterious floating light. Runes. Like fount. Take a drink. Missing cup to contain the angelic essence. <laughs> Interesting. Go back to the well. Back up. Never heard of an angelic well. Sovereign Guard. I was never in the uh, the lessons. But needless to say, much intrigue abound. To inhabit Sovereign Guard. Alduin seems a bit restless. We're invading his home, so you know. No, no big surprise there. I'd be a, uh, you know, bit. Uh, what was that? for a second from our quest. Continuing to the hall. You know, we know what the hall is. As in harming. I mean, we, you and I, clearly know. We've been here before. We know all about this. Help, help, help. Help, help, help. Help, help. Alright. Back up here. Let's go back down to this well. See if what we think is. See what this cup does. Mortal cup removed. Alright. Taking a drink. Bit of a drinky. Nephilim blood has been added. Interesting. There's the Nephilim blood. Nephilim blood you consume gave you a 100% magic resistance. <sighs> Which will definitely negate our angelic lineage, 75%. Stamina. We got like 23 hours worth of magic resistance. We're feeling mighty good right now. Okay, that's the wrong way. This way. So if we encounter any magics, we got some resistance. I'm gonna wait. Nope, oh, never mind. I 
was gonna say if I could wait off the muscle atrophy. Let's see how we're doing. 10 minutes and 11 seconds. Muscle degeneration drains 50 points from stamina. Okay, so we're just a little lower on stamina. It's not a continuous thing. Hello there. What brings you, Wayfar Grim? A wanderer here in Sovngarde. Soul's end. Shore's gift to honor dead. I pursue Alduin, the world eater. A faithful errand. No few have chafed to face the worm since first he set his soul snare here at Sovngarde's threshold. But Shore restrained a wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counseled your doom he foresaw. Shore's bones. <laughs> Who are you? I am Soon, shield thing to Shore. The whalebone well bridge he bade me guard. When all those souls whose heroic end sent them here to Shore's lofty hall. Where welcome well earned awaits those I judge fit to join that fellowship of honor. Okay, well, I seek entrance to the Hall of Valor. No shade are you, as usually here passes. But living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? Well, by the right of birth, I am Dragonborn. Ah. It's been too long since last I faced a doom-driven hero of the Dragonblood. Well, can I enter the Hall of Valor? Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy. By the warrior's test. <laughs> I, uh, definitely not looking forward to this fight. Oh, you think so, huh? Where are you going? Okay. Do I have a regen stam potion? Restore it. Restore. There we go. Roll up. I think so. Let's give him a taste. Who's? Oh. I'm stuck on something. Shore's favor follow you, and your end. Good fight. <laughs> Alright. Just be careful not to fall off the damn bridge. And then we will 
save here. <laughs> okay. The hall. Halls. All over. Feeling our great, you know, sense of purpose. Kind of feel it like this, you know, we, we, one, I don't want to say we wandered aimlessly for a long time, but, you know, it's one of those things of we didn't know exactly what we we're doing, and we've kind of started to fall on that path of we know, onto it, not off of it. You know, joining the fallen, of course, even though things seem a little suspect right now. Um, but being here, just like we said earlier, something about this place seems very familiar. We, we don't know if it's the statues, but there's something... Await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormlaith, the fearless, glad hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy handed warrior. Feldir, the old, far seeing and grim. Okay. Could these be the three we have seen before? Hail, comrade. Shall we, my class, freaking Eastgrim? The three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Looks like a few here. Can we get some of that meat? I bet it's delicious. The roasted ox. Sweet rolls. The three await your word to loose their fury. At long last, Alduin's doom is now ours to seal. Just speak the word, and with high hearts, you'll hasten forth to smite the worm wherever he lives. Old comrade, let us come to the Come, let Looking us share green. a cup of mead and trade oh. tales of our time on Moon. More than a snare. Its shadowy gloom is his shield and cloak. But with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldir speaks wisdom. The world eater coward and fears you, Dragonborn. We must drive away his mist, shouting together, and then unsheathe our blades in desperate battle with our black winged foe. To battle, my friends! The field will echo the clamor of war, our wills undaunted. Okay. But there was the spell, the mist. We can do that. To battle, to victory. All right, here we go. Don't you get caught? Okay. Just get caught and fall the hell off. <laughs> Before we start, uh -huh. just in case, upon you, defeat Alduin. Places, everyone. We cannot fight the foe in this mist. No.
Again! Again! As one! The world eater fears us! Alright. We're going on three. No! Tempered revenge. Once more, and his might will be broken. One more time, and the world eater must face us. Fair enough. No. in the face. Lamb and 
stand. <laughs> This was a mighty deed. The doom of Alduin encompassed at last, and cleansed his sovereign guard of his evil snare. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever, but your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to me, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. Yes, dear readers. Done it. Alduin. Done. Back at the throat of the world. sound very happy about it. 
happy? No, I am not happy. The Mahi lost Undul Bormahu. Alduin was once the crown of our father Akatosh's creation. You did what was necessary. Alduin had flown far from the path of right action in his Pachlok, in the arrogance of his power. But I cannot celebrate his fall. Zutiraz Achokma. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. Dragonborn. Granted, we knew that before we joined the Fallen, but we were given specific instructions to fill our destiny as Dragonborn. Indeed, you saw more clearly than I. Certainly more clearly than I. Roch Funta Korav. Perhaps now you have some insight into the forces that shape. The Venesitid, the currents of time. Perhaps you begin to see the world as a Dova. But I forget myself. Croesus, Solos Mivhadon, melancholy is an easy trap for a Dova to fall into. You have won a mighty victory, Sahroch Kondra. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovatim. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. We're taking that as he's kind of taking over uh, leadership, if you will. And if those want to follow him, okay. But there's some that may not. Who's As for myself, you've proven your mastery twice over. Thuri Dovakin. I gladly acknowledge the power of your food. Zu Odaving, call me when you have need, and I will come if I can. Now we have a dragon to call at will. have to, uh, well, we have to track down our group, so to speak. Let them know, alright, we fulfilled our destiny as Dragonborn. Now that that's taken care of, we have knowledge that we need to obtain. Oh, hey, Parthenax. Drem your look. Greetings. Okay. But before we do that, we have a stop to make. We'll see you in a second. We heard the news from Whiterun that you left the city on the back of a dragon. That's a little showy, even for you. Since you're still alive, I assume you have good news to report. Yes. I used Alduin's portal to travel to Sovngarde. He's dead. Gods above, that's better news than I had hoped. 
When you walked into my inn that day, I never imagined where it would all lead. Dragons out of legend. Sovngarde. So about Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Tell me. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Hmm. Okay. Leave it for now. I want to contemplate for a little bit before we track down our uh, brethren, our fallen brethren. That is. We're gonna come out to the uh, to the balcony to do so. We still aren't sure about this whole, you know, offing Parthenax. I mean, clearly he has done nothing but good for us. He helped fight Alduin. We're a, uh, you know, a believer of second chances, because, you know, we've had, we've had plenty ourselves. Just come out here, stare off into the distance, contemplate, then we gotta find our, our comrades, so, uh, whew. we'll see you in a bit. We're interrupted. But we see a cultist. This is your last mistake! Arethia's proving. Arethia's calling. Blank count is true. Might serve as a warning to those with ears to hear and hearts to know. Why do they come to us? There's really only one way to find out. That's so oh, help. help. Than the shrine. I got my buddy there. Let's drag it down. Okay, so we are at the Windhelm stables. And who would yet again find us other than the fallen? So, of course, there was a bit of conversation. Conversation with a little something like this. So, of course, Harmony, I've been looking for you. I wanted to tell you Alduin is no more. Man, the mass says, well, I know that. Saw the whole thing. In fact, you know, Harmony just kind of... In fact, all three of us watched. And, you know, even though you didn't do it alone, very impressive, Harmony. Very, very impressive. So I suppose there's some things you would like to know. Twitch Harmony, yeah. You know, you gave me your word. Now it's time 
to uh, pay up, basically. He says, you're right. So, I did say how I know that you're a Nephilim. I also know how you came to be a Nephilim. There are also a lot of other things that I know about you. That's just, you know, visions, the nightmares that have plagued you for the better part of your life. And I'll tell you all of that. So, here we go. First, I know your parents. I don't know, or I didn't know them all that well. I knew of them. Your father, a farmer. Nothing more than that. That's what he just did day in, day out, lived his life as a farmer. Be out in the fields during the day, and he would go to the tavern at night. Go back home. That was it. Long, long to have a family. And then one day he became, well, for lack of a better word, the luckiest individual in all of Skyrim. He always said he, that one day he met an angel. Little did he know how right he was. Occasionally, the gods, the angels, all of them who were up there and Aetherius and Nerd and all that, they occasionally do come down here. Sometimes it's just for a moment, just to be able to breathe the air. Sometimes it's for days, weeks, months, years. But while they're here, of course, they take on a form suitable to all of ours. Elven. Orc. Nord. Breton. Everything in between. Any Anybody you encounter, they could very well be a god. There have even been rumors that Talos himself has shown up before. We don't know that to be true, but it's all legend. But in this case, it turns out, yeah, that was true. That day, your father, the farmer, and that angel, they fell madly in love. And here you are. Okay, so that it, so Harmony says that explains at least how I am a Nephilim, but I have no memory of them. I was brought up, you know, by the vigilance of Stendar. So there's a gap. There is something missing there that you're not telling me. Okay, fair enough. I will tell you that soon. So, one day, your father and your mother, in their home, just, you know, doing their daily routine, when a band of Stormcloak soldiers came along to basically collect payment. Your mother didn't know, but your father owed the Stormcloaks money in exchange for, you know, not having money, his one offer was his crops. He would give crops, he would, uh, you know, give animals and skins and, you know, things of that nature. He would supply the Stormcloak army. But, as you and I both know, it could be harsh in the latest Skyrim. And it was quite harsh this particular year. The crops weren't doing so well. The animals weren't growing in the numbers that the Stormcloaks would have liked. And of course, your father had enough money just to, you know, go to the bar, <laughs> to the taverns each night. And so they saw you. And they saw something that, in my opinion, your parents should have hidden away. They saw your back. They saw the marks where your wings would basically hide. And in that moment, the storm cloaks started to come closer to inspect. And your mother and father, they had a conflict with those Stormcloak soldiers. 
I'm sure you can piece together yourself. It did not end well for either one of them. One of the downsides of inhabiting a mortal body is that you do suffer the mortal con consequences and one of them is death. And at that moment, both your parents were slain. So you, being as young as you are, panicked. Wings came out, fit of rage. You managed to hurt the Stormcloaks, and, but they caught you. And they were going to take you back. And that's where I stepped in. You know, what? <laughs> I killed the Stormcloak party, if you will, that came through. It was only three individuals. It was nothing. I knew then, after seeing you, I knew then the great potential. I had no idea about the other part of your lineage, the Dragonborn blood. But I knew then that you had to be kept safe. I knew then that, well, you could be very, very useful if you put your mind to it. If you were given the right guidance, the right direction. So Harmony, did you, did you take me to the Vigilance? Man in the Mask chuckles a bit. <laughs> no. That was one of my biggest mistakes. One of my biggest regrets. I have a couple, and that's one of them. They took you away from me. They? The Stormcloaks. Okay, how did that happen? So, needless to say, three dead bodies on uh, collection, you know, purposes, they don't just go unnoticed. There are those higher up that have people to account for, supplies to account for, things of that nature, as I'm sure you can understand. When it comes to an army, they need their supplies, and when, well, a share of their supplies aren't coming in, their uh, retribution is coming down. Compensation is coming their way. So I can only take it that they investigated, they found the bodies, they found the bodies of your parents, but they did not find you. And in the, where I made the mistake, I didn't cover my tracks. I didn't do what I needed to do in order to, you know, erase any evidence that I was there. And being, well, as you are well aware in Skyrim, it's extremely snowy. But you think, oh, footprints can be covered up with snow. The problem, though, is your blood was found from the wings. You know, it's fresh, open wound almost any time those wings were to unfurl. So there was blood, there were some footprints. It wasn't like this was day after day after day after day. This was hours. Hours went by, party was out. Party went to there, and they were able to, tr to track us down. Okay. So, Harmony says, okay, that basically blows our minds, <laughs> you know, like, all right, now how, we still don't know how we, we know that, yes, parents were killed, man in the mask took us, killed the Stormcloaks, the three, wanted to keep them safe, or keep Harmony safe, I should say, and now we're tracked down and taken away, but, you know, if you're, you're so powerful and all that, there's still what's going on. Well, I may have made one mistake that day, 
But I decided not to make another one and let you be given up without a way to find you. Okay. So he says, Harmony, I'm a vampire. In fact, I am one of the oldest vampires in Skyrim. So, I made you a thrall. Why do you think when Harkin did his thing to turn you that you didn't just turn into a vampire like all the other vampires you've seen? You turned into one of the most powerful vampires that there is. Okay, Harmony, of course. So that's the, the nightmares, the visions you see. They're not nightmares. Those are my memories that you've been seeing. Things that I have done throughout my life. In the times where you have your visions, where someone's talking to you, it was me trying to reach out to you, trying to get you to somewhere to where you and I could finally meet again. And we have. And now, everything is right. Everything is as it should be. This, this, all of us, the fallen, this is our destiny. So, Harmony, Woo. that's a lot, a lot of information to take in. So she, you know, is taking a moment. She suspects something. There's still some things that are unanswered. How did they get into, um... Ah! Sorry. Controller. Got hit. Um, you know, how did they... F that back door? How did they find that? Is that something they created? You still haven't answered who you are. There's still so much. I need to know. Who are you? Says. We're not there yet. But trust me. Again. When the time is right. You will know. And then... They left. And here we are. We have some Boethia to go find. After learning all of this, we spent the rest of the night in the Windhelm stables. We obviously don't want to go too far into enemy territory. But something just isn't setting well with us. There's obviously things that He's not telling us, the man in the mask. But I don't think it's just who he is and the back door. There's something else. There's, we get this intuition. We're not getting the whole story. But so far, been very truthful. So, you know, there's that, that counterweight. But there's something. Something not being said. We'll be sure to find out what it is.